Welcome to the City Multi Extended Warranty Submittal Process. The City Multi Extended Warranty Process ensures that the registered system has been accurately designed, installed to manufacturer specifications, and is operating as intended. Systems that meet this qualifying criteria shall receive an extended 10 year parts warranty. This video will step you through the process and highlight the required files for submittal. Before applying for the extended warranty, you will need to gather the following three items. The Diamond System Builder file, system information from Maintenance Tool, and one hour of runtime recorded in Maintenance Tool for each system. The Diamond System Builder file is a starting point for warranty submittal. Select Project Properties, and navigate to the Extended Warranty tab. All of the required fields must be completed. In addition, each system component must have the correct piping lengths from the as-built, proper port assignments, and exact serial numbers. This system information must match the maintenance tool files. After the DSB file has been completed, specific system information must be confirmed in maintenance tool. For R2 series systems, all port assignments must be verified. For Y series and S series, all unit addresses must be correct. Once confirmed, the system information can be saved. Navigate the Maintenance Tool home screen. Select File and then click Save System Info. The saving process may take several minutes to complete. When finished, a .mtdz file is created and stored in the Offline Analyze section of Maintenance Tool. With Maintenance Tool still open, record a test run. Make sure all indoor units are either in cooling or heating for a minimum of one hour. Confirm that the control mode displays ordinary, not initial. It is important that all units remain operational during this time. Additionally, controls should be locked out to prevent scheduled or occupant changes. Click Monitor, select the OC, and then click Confirm. Select Drive Operation. I C. Confirm that the system mode is set to all, then select Test Run. Choose a mode given the current outdoor temperature. Adjust the set point, put the fan into high, and click Transmission to initiate the batch command. Click Yes to confirm the batch command. Then click Close. If the system is an R2, then port assignments must be checked. After the system enters test run, click the Drive Operation tab and select BC. Each connected port must be checked by closing the solenoid valves in order to monitor temperature from the indoor coils. Close the valves and click Fix. Click Transmission, and then Close. Closed ports will be indicated by a rise in temperature at the indoor coil. As you check each port, release the previous port to its normal operating position. At the conclusion of 60 minutes of runtime, click the exit icon. Rename the data as necessary and click Save. To exit Maintenance Tool and retrieve the system information and runtime files, click Exit. Click Mode Select to view the offline analyze files. To retrieve system information and the runtime data, navigate to the Offline Analyze option and click Select. Select the file from the monitor data and click Export. Choose the destination folder in which the file will be saved. Then click Run to send the file. Next, click System Info. Once more, select the file and click Export. Choose the destination folder and click Run to send the file. Click Exit to leave Offline Analyze. With the file saved, return to DSB and click Project Properties. Scroll to the bottom of the Extended Warranty tab and browse for the two required files.
Once uploaded, click Submit. Once submitted, the extended warranty files are extracted by an area service manager and reviewed. Following their review, they are marked as pending and await processing. With all information confirmed, the extended warranty is processed and the completed project file is internally archived. At the same time, an extended warranty letter is sent to the email addresses entered into DSB for the site customer, design engineer, installing contractor, and startup person. This letter should be retained by all parties as proof of the extended warranty. This concludes the City Multi Extended Warranty Submittal process. Refer to MyLinkDrive.com for additional resources and information.